Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a few editing life hacks that are gonna save you so much time. Over the years, I've realized a few things that, so I have three different ones, whether you're a YouTuber or you're just editing random videos, these will save you so much time. Also subscribe if you guys want more editing tutorials, um, photography, filmmaking tutorials, things like that. Okay, let's get into the life hacks. So the first one is to copy and paste attributes. Basically the idea is that you can spend a ton of time customizing one clip, you can copy and paste all the things that you did to that clip onto another clip or onto multiple clips. And I find this is the best if you're doing any keyframing because that can be pretty time consuming. So I'll show you exactly what I mean. So let's take this video clip of my face, which is <laughs> it was like 100 degrees out, so we're just gonna pretend that I'm not sweating so much here, but whatever. And let's say we want to slowly reveal a different clip over it. So for this video, I revealed the same clip using a different lens over it to show the difference. So to do this, we would um, keyframe it so that it enters at a different time, right? So if you don't know how to do this, I can make another tutorial on it, but this one's not really about that. So you can see it takes just a bit of time to do the keyframing. Okay, so now we can see we have a clip where it slowly reveals this clip and then goes on to the rest of it. And for this particular video, I had to do this like 10 times. And so you don't wanna have to go in and do that keyframe thing every time. It's really annoying to do. So what you can do, just highlight the clip, do Command C so that you copy it. And then let's say I wanna do the same thing onto this clip. So we're gonna put this clip down. We're gonna put the one that we want it to reveal over. And you just go into edit, paste attributes, and make sure you have the crop selected. And now it's gonna paste that keyframe that you did. So it's really awesome. And there it is, works perfectly. That's gonna save you so much time. It's like making your own little preset in a way. And you can do this with color corrections, with audio levels, really anything. It is, what, when I realized this, I was like, oh my God, how? How did I, how did I live before this? Okay, so the next one is to use compound clips. So this is if you have a bunch of different clips together, you can highlight them all and just make them into one clip so you can start editing all those clips together. This is best if you've totally finished your video and you wanna color correct everything with just the same edit on everything. It could take you hours to manually color correct each clip and it will look better that way and be more specific, but if you're on a time crunch and you just wanna put just a little color, maybe saturate everything a little bit or desaturate everything a little bit, you can create a compound clip and just do it all in like 10 seconds. So I'll show you how to do this. Let's take a few clips that you might want. So we'll just place some clips in the timeline here. Okay, cool, so we have like five clips that we're gonna edit on. What I'm saying is rather than manually going in each one, and let's say you wanna saturate it, saturating each one, because this is just very kind of tedious to do. What we're gonna do instead, highlight all the clips that you want to edit on, hit option G, and then you'll have a compound clip. You, you don't even have to name it, but you can if you want. Now you have it all as one clip, so we can just go in here, saturate it and they're all gonna be saturated. And then if you want to go back and edit on one of these specifically, you can always double click and there you are. You're in your compound clip. Maybe desaturate one if you thought one looks kind of weird. So making a compound clip is really best for if you're changing all the audio levels, just raising it all a little bit or if you wanna color correct everything. And this is kind of just a different way. You could always copy and paste the attributes everywhere. It's kind of up to you on which one you wanna do. All right, and then the last one is hardly a life hack because it's sort of a product, but I just thought I'd put it in here because I use it all the time and it's awesome. Um, and it's Pixel Film Studios. This isn't sponsored or anything, but it's just a website that has all kinds of different little presets that you can buy. If you want a really professional, nice looking title card, you can find one on here that looks amazing for like $30. And rather than paying an animator hundreds of dollars for this, you're getting like the same quality, just for a lot less. My favorite thing on here is really just the different title cards that they have. So so this, they have these like cool animation ones. Um, these ones are really nice looking. Like if you're shooting, if you're doing like wedding videos, like these are really, really good intro cards. They have other stuff too. They have different like color correcting things that you can get. Yeah, they always have promo codes too. I'll try and find one and link it down below or put it here because I feel like they are always emailing me a promo code for like 30% off. So just never buy it full price because 
it's pretty, you can always get it 30% off basically, so yeah. But yeah, clearly these will save you a lot of time because they just make it so nice looking. You don't have to look for fonts and keyframe it and do this and that, like they just make it so easy. So if really diving into editing and After Effects isn't your thing, I'd recommend just buying a pack of these. So that is it for this video. These are my editing life hacks that I've noticed that people don't really do that they should do. If you guys want any others or any other videos kind of like this, just comment down below. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Follow me on Instagram if you don't already, all that. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.